Hello everyone, Denzel here, your personal finance geek. And today we're gonna go over how to protect velocity banking. How to protect your velocity banking method when you're paying off debt, increasing cash flow, lowering your expenses, building your credit score so you can build a kingdom that you want for your family. And there are some things that you want to be aware of, especially when we're leveraging and utilizing our credit lines, our credit cards, when you're paying down loans, paying off things, understand that your credit score is going to be rising and you want to protect that. And what we're going to go over today is another layer to have, a, a layer of protection, I should say, you know, like a nice shield to protect your finances, to protect your identity in the process of becoming debt free and building wealth. All right. So I want to go over some things. What I'm going to do is display my numbers on the board here. And this is also a reminder for some of you that velocity banking never stops. So by no means is this concept only for people who are in debt. As you can see, I have no debt and I'm still doing velocity banking. It'll never stop. In fact, once you get out of bad debt, the idea is to actually go back into debt, but not the way you originally got yourself into debt. What we want to do is acquire good debt that produces cash flow, that produces income, residual income. All right. Very important stuff. So let's dive into it. All right. Here are my numbers. Here's the income, expense, debt, cash flow. Here's my line of credit, my debt tool. Here are some other debt tools that I have, uh, eight credit cards. Here are my IBC policies, infinite banking. I got two of them, one with Mass Mutual, one with Guardian. Here's how much I'm putting in each of them per year. Emergency fund, that's just straight cash. Got some gold, one investment in real estate. So we got a lot going on, all right? And this is only just the beginning. 23 years old, got a lot to learn, a lot of years to grow, right? So we want to make sure we're putting some things in place now so that as I continue to grow this channel, as I continue to grow with you and you're growing with me, I continue to gain more and more knowledge and acquire more and more protection so that I can play offense, so that I can go out there and be brave and have courage to continue to build wealth and build the things I want to build in my life. So here's how I protect this equation, all right? The money. Here's how I protect Denzel Rodriguez personally. I have a Legal Shield plan. This is a great company. I was a customer with them for over two years, and then I actually joined the business to be able to help other people acquire the same great customer service, great protection great products and services that they offer. So a couple of things real brief with this plan that I have here, I pay $37.85 a month. It's a personal plan, which comes with identity theft protection, legal protection. I get to uh, establish my living will for free and I get discounts on other services like a trust. So I'm, I'm actually working on these two right here. Uh, creating a trust for myself, putting the will in place. These I've had for a very long time now. Identity theft protection alone, I believe, is like $9.99. Um, they have individual and family plans. So for all my clients who are husband, wife, got kids, you can actually protect the whole family under one plan. Or if you're single, or if you just want to protect yourself right now, get things going. If you're the only one in your family that's doing Velocity Banking, I know how that can be, trust me. I know how that is. When you come across this concept, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I gotta tell mom, I gotta tell dad, I gotta tell brother, sister. And don't nobody wanna listen to you, right? I dealt with the same thing, trust me. It took me two years and I still haven't gotten my whole family on Velocity Banking yet. Isn't that sad? But that's okay, in due time. Matter of fact, in God's time things will come along, gotcha? So think about that when you're 
you know, working with your family, especially if you're trying to help them get their finances in order and they're just they're just seeing, you know, a brick wall. There's just, you know, they got the they got the walls put up, you know, everything's a scam, everything is, you know, not gonna work. Whatever. Just let God take care of that one. Make sure you're worried about yourself. Be selfish and start working on yourself. Get yourself in line first. Be an example. Show them what could be by being what is. All right. So personally, this is how I protect myself. You can click the link below. I have a resource for you. You can watch some more videos on this and get educated on protecting yourself personally when you're building your credit so that nobody out there is trying to steal your social security number, your driver's license, your good credit. Trust me, you don't want none of that to happen. And you know good and well. I mean, this happens what? Like every month now, a major company is getting breached. Even the credit bureaus got breached. Are you kidding me? So you can't rely on your bank or your, uh, you know, Experian membership how it comes with a you know a little identity monitoring here and there that's not enough you need another level of protection especially in the times that we're living in now where just information is being just sent left and right think about all the subscriptions you have all the credit cards that you're going to be opening with velocity banking the line of credit the bank accounts think about where all your information is it's just floating out there in the universe just floating everywhere Every day, people swap in information out. So you want to make sure you have a plan like Legal Shield to protect you. Okay. Now, for all my business clients, for all my business clients, if you are a you know if you're a startup or you've been in business for a while, I highly suggest that you protect your business on top of your personal. So you're protecting yourself personally, but you can also protect yourself business-wise. Now I will also say, because I didn't write this, but um, Legal Shield also has a business protection plan. And you can check that out as well for those who have employees, you want to protect your employees, um, or you want to just protect your business personally. There are some options there as well. Now for me, with the business, I got the home supplemental plan to start with and eventually I'll, I'll up it once I start gaining some employees in my company but for now all I needed was a home supplemental plan under Legal Shield. I have that as well on top of my personal. Now in addition I went and got general liability, professional liability, cybersecurity. I went with a gentleman that I got connected with from another person that referred me to this gentleman. His name is David. Um, his resource, his, his link is on my website. You can check him out. He offers, he puts plans together. This is how much I pay per month. I think for the whole year, it's a little under 4,500 or something like that. I forget. But um, this is really important for me to have and for other, you know, if you're a small business that you handle clients information, very important to have stuff like this. So I'm like double protecting myself because some of this stuff, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Legal Shield can help with that. It just so happens that in my situation, before I found out about uh, Legal Shield, I already had these things put in place. So I'm gonna be doing some more homework on Legal Shield on the business side to see if they have products and services around this area for business owners. I know that they have business protection plans. What that entails is usually, um, from what I've read, and I'm still learning, very, very new to this uh, company, but you know, I've been a customer for so long, but never really thought about all the things that I actually get. And once I started reading up on how, you know, someone takes my identity, how, you know, they'll restore me back to what I was, that I have a $5 million of like protection that they'll spend to restore my credit or my identity back to what it was. It's like amazing stuff. 24-7 um, access 
to an attorney, if I get caught in a bind, or if I have a legal situation, I'm covered. If um, anything happens in my company, you know, I say something on the internet, someone tries to sue me, or you never know. Bad things happen to good people all the time. So it's important for us to really learn and understand the different you know, pitfalls and obstacles, challenges that can come in our way. So little things like this that you invest in, right, can really make a difference. Now, if you are in the weeds, okay, if your income is not popping and your expenses are high and you're like negative cash flow, please don't be acquiring more debt. Don't be paying for things you can't afford. Let's, let's be realistic here. Let's make sure that we're focusing on what I always talk about, which is your four major numbers first. Your income, your expenses, your debt, and your cash flow. Let's make sure we have those things in line first before we start buying other stuff, you know, policies, uh, investments, personal business, right? Let's make sure we get this in line. And then we start building and building. And then as we're building, we're also simultaneously protecting. My name is Denzel. I hope this video was very helpful to you. You can click the link below to get access to your personal protection plan. Start protecting yourself legally, business-wise, and all the above. Have a wonderful day. God bless.